Hello everyone, my name is Raj. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to continue where we left off in the previous tutorial. If you have not seen it, I would request you to go and check it. The link will be in the description as well as in the i button. In the last tutorial, what we did was we created a UMG like this. Then we created a blueprint. In the blueprint, we had a static mesh, which was a curved screen. Then we took the UMG that we created and using construction script and your event graph we applied that widget as a texture onto the static mesh if i go back to my viewport and click play you can see that the widget has been applied as a texture this is where we left off in the previous tutorial and now i will show you how to animate something inside the umg and how to control it from the blueprint just as an example i will show you something which i had created earlier I have another screen where I have applied another widget blueprint. If I hit play, you can see there is an animation which is playing. If I select that particular curve screen and you can see here I have two custom events, play and reverse. If I click on play, the animation plays and if I hit reverse, it reverses. So I will delete this and let's get back to our original file which is this. If you have seen part one, you have already reached this point where we have our UMG created with the text and you should have this as well. If you have not created this, I would suggest that you go and check it out first and then reach this point so that we can move ahead from here. Okay, so how do I animate the text? First, I am going to open my widget blueprint, which looks like this. I have this background image. I have the text itself and the UV grid just as a reference. Creating animation is very simple. You can see this uh, animations tab over here. If you don't see it, it should be somewhere over here, animations. Okay, so click on animation and I'm going to give this a name. I will call this Tute Anim. I will select it. The moment I select it, you can see the timeline gets activated. If I don't have it selected, the timeline is not activated. You can choose a frame rate of your liking. I'm going to choose 25 FPS. And then I'm going to select the text. And similarly, if we have done sequencer, it's the same. I'm going to click on add and text. And here I'm going to click on this add track. From here, what I want to do, I want to just move the text from left to right so that it comes into the screen from outside. So I'm going to select transform. When I add this, there is already a keyframe on transform if you can see. I will open this up and open translation. And I know that I want to move it in the X axis. So maybe I'll move a bit ahead like two seconds and set another keyframe. So both the keyframes are same right now, zero and zero. I will move, jump back to the first one. And here I'm just going to drag it out of the screen like this, which is about minus 650. Okay. And just set a keyframe. So now I have this animation over here. I play this. Maybe this can be a bit faster, so how I will do is I'll just drag this endpoint over here and also drag this here. As you can see, this is a very simple animation which is moving from left to right. Uh, for some reason, if you see that your text is not getting cut at the edges, you might want to go to the canvas panel over here and then make sure that the clipping is set to clip to bounds. If it is set to inherit you will see that the text is visible outside the boundary as well so click on canvas and under rendering clipping select clip to bounds and now you should not see the text outside i will compile and save this now how do i control this animation from here go back to my widget blueprint so far we have been working on the designer mode in the widget blueprint i will jump to the graph editing mode and here you can see 
that under animations i already have the tute anim if i jump back to designer it is the same animation that we created over here so in the graph i'm going to take this animation like this drop it down here and say get tute anim now what do i want to do with this i want to play the animation right so i'm going to drag out a pin and say play animation simple as that but to trigger this play animation obviously i need a custom event so i will uh, right click and i'm going to say add custom event and i will call this play tute anim and i'm going to connect this to this function compile and save now let me jump back to my main blueprint which is this one which has the screen here what i need to do is i need to somehow play the animation that we just created right so i'm going to jump to my event graph so this part of the blueprint we created in the previous tutorial and this was used to add the widget blueprint as a texture onto the static mesh so i will just select it and see and comment mm, we'll call this widget texture so i'll move this away now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the widget itself and drop it into the event graph like this and from the widget i'm going to drag a pin and i am going to get widget and from the return value i am going to search for cast to umg led design i'm going to make an event begin play i'm going to connect it to the cast and from here i'm going to drag a pin and i'm going to promote it as a variable and i will keep the name as it is as umg led so at event begin play create this variable which is our umg i can take this variable and drag it into the event graph and do a get and now i can just drag this and i can look for what was the name of the custom event that we created play tute anim and i should be able to just drag a pin out like this and say play tute and i have it here play tute anim all i need to do is i need to make a custom event here and just call it in editor so i will right click and say add custom event and i will call this play forward and i'm going to connect this to the play tute anim i will select the play forward and call in editor compile and save let me jump here play now if i select the screen you can see i have this play forward and it works as expected now let me create another event which can play it backwards what do i need to do for that stop this i will jump back to my widget blueprint so this in this uh, we already have the animation playing like this all i need to do is i need to play it in reverse like this i don't need to make any more keyframes for this i already have the keyframes i just need to play it in reverse it's very simple go back to the graph I already have this. If you see here in the play mode, it says forward. I need exactly the same thing, but with play reverse, right? So, what I'll do is I will do the same thing. I will take the tute anim, drop it down here like this, get, then draw a pin from here, and I'm going to do the same thing play animation, play animation, but here instead of play forward uh, in the play mode i'm going to change it to reverse and similarly i will you know add a custom event here as well add custom event i will call this reverse tute anim and connect this here compile and save i will jump to my blueprint and here this is the one we created to play forward 
play forward uh, i will take the variable and do a get i will drag out a pin and search for what was it it was a reverse tute anim so i will drag a pin and search for reverse tute anim similarly as the top one i will just right click and add a custom event and i will just call this play reverse connect it here select the custom event call in editor compile and save now let's hit play select the screen and now we have two custom events i can play it forward and play in reverse it is as simple as that if i open up the umg which i created previously as an example you can see how simple the animation is if i select the animation track so this is how i animated it it's pretty simple it's nothing fancy for example if i select one of these hockey sticks and open the keyframes you can see it is scaling up you can see it here it's just scaling up and then just rotating in place similarly if i click on another one which is this volley I believe which is this one if i open the keyframes it's just doing a simple translation in the y-axis so it's really up to you what kind of animations you want to create now you know that once your animation is done all you need to do is go to your graph in the widget blueprint and then add this graph and then you need to call the custom event from your main blueprint like this and all you have to do is just expose the custom events in your editor. So that's it for today's tutorial. In the next one, we are going to take a look at how we can change the text in real time, not just play the animation like this, but you will also be able to change the text. So that is something we will be taking a look at in the next part, which is part three. So if you have not subscribed to the channel i would request you to subscribe to the channel i will be creating more such tutorials in the future i know there has been a long gap from the previous tutorial but i'll try to keep up uh, so that i don't have much gaps in between so anyways thank you for watching my name is raj see you in the next one